All right, this is carbon. This is my hydrogen. And this is oxygen. So what we're seeing is we're seeing the three elements that make up my monomer. And if we zoom in on my monomer, I'm looking at something that looks like this. It's a carbon in the middle. Carbon has four hydrogens. One of the hydrogens is bound to this oxygen. This is known as methanol. It is methane with an alcohol group, which is the OH up here. When the OH is going to be used to make polymers, as we see here, we're going to have one of the hydrogens here on this, and this oxygen hydrogen carbon combination come together. You're going to see the removal of an OH group from one and an H group from the other, and that makes water. So let's just really quickly see how that works. So there we go. I have my water group. This has come off. I've got my now dimer, two of them instead of monomer. And I can go ahead and add another one and see if I don't get another water group that comes out of it. So now I've got two water molecules. They have both come off. And I've got three monomers put together in a polymer. This can continue on, and the chain can keep on being made to make more and more of these. This now is propanol. You might use this, and you might have seen this in your gas grills. All right. I wonder how we could make this look like a condensation reaction, All right? So we've hydrolyzed this. I guess we can just go in reverse. Let's check that out. 